the president's stimulus package, the TARP, the whatever, the budget, relies on one thing for its success. Well, aside from authoritarian government power, it, it relies on the complacency of the American people. It relies on their belief that they can convince the American people that there's such a crisis that the only government, the only en en entity that can fix its government, as Obama has said. So they get complacent and they sit around and, and, they, uh, and they wait. But see, this is something liberals will never understand about the United States of America, and it's right under their noses, right in front of their faces. We are a competitive people. We strive, enough of us do, to be the best. We strive to win. We strive to avoid defeat. Enough of us still do. Don't believe otherwise. The liberals have made efforts to shut that aspect of our nature down. Wherever you live, I am certain that you, when you were a child, or your kids today in youth sports, are told not to keep score. Because the losers, it's just not fair. They get, they'd be humiliated, especially if one girl's basketball team can defeat another one 100 to nothing. Let's, let's just, and let's, let's fire the coach who put that game together. That's just, it's so unfair. So let's not keep score. Well, here's the dirty little secret. The kids are keeping score. You know they are. They don't want to lose. They know what winning and losing is. They're saying to themselves, well, why go out there and put on the pads and play football or t-ball if the objective here is to not keep score? Why? So they're keeping score, and they get in the car with mom and dad, and they tell mom and dad, yeah, we kicked their butts tonight. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought you weren't keeping score. Well, they weren't officially, but they keep score. We are a competitive people. Adults are doing the same thing. It didn't take long for people to get fired up when they figured out that they're going to be paying mortgages for people who should never have been lent money in the first place for the bogus excuse of maintaining property values in a neighborhood. Uh, this is something that, you know, it, the complacency of the American people is something they're going to rely on, along with their authoritarian efforts to control it. But they will not succeed at this because we're not quitters. We don't acquiesce. We're not going to give up the American dream and watch idly while it is restructured and transformed.